I think the U.S. should be looking at for coaches. Mm-hmm. I thought Zizu would have been a great one, so that's a little, a little disheartening to see him turn it down. Yeah, I know he was your number one pick for them to go. He would have been probably, but my number—I I would say my other number one would be Thomas Tuchel. Okay, I think he'd be a great coach. I mean, he took Ch- Chelsea to a Champions League trophy mm-hmm. was it last year, two years ago. Yeah. yeah. So I know he just he's looking for a job right now. Chelsea let him go to bring in Graham Potter. I think another good coach could be Mauricio Pochettino. Okay. I don't think he's had a job since he left the PSG. No, he hasn't. So I, I think he did a pretty good job at Spurs. I mean, he took him to a Champions League final. Yeah. So not he did terrible great there. At Spurs, a team that hadn't really done much in the last 30 years. And then I think my other coach would be Marce- Marcelo Bisla, former Leeds coach. You know, he's he's a wild one. He's he'd be he'd be interesting, that's for sure. Yeah, he's a one that if you deal with him in short bursts, not a prolonged period of time, he's the perfect coach. Well, and that's what uh, national I, team I would is. have to agree with you that he might be the underdog best pick in this scenario because he's used to toxic situations and he's used to being that my way or the highway coach as well. And honestly, like when he had Leeds playing, man, they were playing some beautiful football. And we have a young group of core players in that U.S. team that I think could play that exciting football in it. I think they'd be fun to watch. And so those those would be my top three choices for next coach. Whether okay. we can get any of them, I don't know. That will be difficult. I think a lot of coaches are not going to want this job after seeing all this news come out. Yeah, I mean, they're going to have to pitch an awfully enticing package to somebody. Oh, for uh, real. As far as <laughs> what they're going to be able to do and how the U.S. national team is willing to work with them. Personally, my top three, yeah, let's as hear much yours. as I want to say Morocco's head coach, uh, I'm not going to even try to butcher his name, but I don't think he's going to leave Morocco anytime soon. No. You would have to give him probably the largest salary on earth for a national team coach and I don't think even then he would go his heart his heart wouldn't be in it yeah yeah he's in his home country he's a stellar coach but I had to I had to start elsewhere um my number one I would probably have to say uh Joachim Lowe former Germany boss won the world cup with them in 2014 he is a very no-nonsense <laughs> coach. Yes, he is known for sticking his hand out his pants and smelling it afterwards. But you know what? This whole scenario for the United States is pretty much summed up by what he did on the field, sticking his hand down his pants and smelling it. So, well, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, I think he would be a great coach. He's definitely Uh, a great coach. Don't get me wrong. I mean, he took Germany to a World Cup, so. Yeah, and arguably Germany hasn't done nearly as well since he left. No. So he would be my number one choice. Next, I probably, you know, because America loves to hire Americans, I probably have to go with Jesse Marsh. But good luck getting him away from Leeds United if Leeds United is backing him. I don't think Leeds... He leaves Leeds. No, I don't think so either. He would you know, be a great choice, get, though. If he were to lose um, his job in the next couple of years, maybe. But I mean, but you, you probably want, want to someone, coach in now. You want you're someone have in for the now World Cup. To, yeah, to fix everything and then take this team all the way to 2026 and the World Cup. Because we I, have some a reputation to build with the World Cup being here in four years. Not only that is you have to essentially rebuild this entire program from the ground up at this point. This fire sale, let's just start all over. Yeah. All right. I think that's what's last, needed. Last one. This. I'm going to kind of go outside the box here a little bit. I know you had mentioned him to me a little bit, but Andre Vyash Boish, former manager of, let's see, Marseille, PSG, Chelsea for a little bit. Um, he's been all over the world and coached internationally as far as national teams go. 
he's got a very unique style of coaching. He's very eccentric, but I think he's used to building things from the ground up at this point. And I think he would be a great candidate for that. That's a really good point. Building from the ground up. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I also think because of how toxic this environment is, I really hope it's not going to end up being one of those. Well, we couldn't get anybody else. So let's stick by Greg Berhalter because that's not only going to damage the national team, but it will damage Greg as an individual as 